I've had some of the most incredible bow hunting experiences in Hawaii, from camping in caves, to hunting up in the fog, to hunting over cliffs right above the ocean. Just the type of landscape and the habitat is truly incredible. So when I first got out of college in 2010, of course I was paying off college number one, but I didn't have any money. And I came over to Hawaii on vacation with some really close friends that I've hunted with. The light went on seeing how much of a target rich environment it is over here and how much opportunity that I could get with a bow making kills. And I knew that would help me just develop and become a better bow hunter. That's the whole reason why I come over here. Now pigs are kind of a different story. They can get to rooting around and feeding. They're a little less aware, obviously. And if you have a little wind, you can get right up on them. And that's why I love pigs is they're an easy target and they taste really good too. on the outside of his shoulder and it went in behind his shoulder. I thought I got him in the point. But that's right into the chest cavity. Look at those teeth, dude. Yes! Finally got some good teeth. I could see his teeth. We're gonna get him cleaned up and get his back straps and Bag and keep going, see if we can find some deer. Big old blonde Hawaiian boar. That's definitely my best pig yet. Axis deer are a totally different ball game out here. They're like an antelope jacked up on steroids, incredibly fast, incredibly keen senses, just a very difficult animal to get close to and to get a good arrow into. The biggest challenge that I've encountered with Axis deer is them jumping the string, especially on those calm days, those deer can hear every little movement, your bow going off, and it's just flat out difficult to kill them. What I've learned over the years is to aim at the heart and expect them to jump the string. We spotted a buck down here, we're just getting down, we're going to make a move on him. He's right over this ridge about 200 yards. Let's keep wiggling down here.
so it didn't hit him mortally at all. He's over there, bedded up with the other bucks, happy as a clam. Now a good example that really comes to my mind with how fast these animals really are was me and my camera guy Tim, we stalked in on this whole herd of deer. We got within 30 yards. I shot this buck underneath a Chiave tree and the whole herd blew up and this spike kind of blew over to my left. He let me knock another arrow, draw my bow, and you can literally see my aiming point was down near his knee. With him on high alert like this, I knew he's gonna be fast. So I held really low, like five inches below the brisket. And you can just see within 30 yards, he was 32 yards, I think, he dropped about 18 inches and I hit him really well. But that's a perfect example to show you that even if you were to aim at the heart on that deer, you're still probably gonna hit him really high or shoot over his back. So incredibly difficult, incredibly fast animals. We looked at the footage and we knew the, the second deer was a good hit, a really good hit. It only, only went about 100 yards. One deer down. Time to go get it in the fridge and go find another one. And lastly, you have goats. Now goats are really fun to hunt because usually you, know, you can shoot your quiver full of arrows in a day on goats just because of the quantities of them in a lot of areas. So we come up, sure enough, big ol' herd of goats coming across the, this ridge line. So we're just gonna poke on up there and see if we can get close. Maybe we get a shot at Big Billy. Shot him right through the heart. That's basically what happened. Thick horn, man. Bigger than I thought he was, but he's not the muy grande. Well, found both arrows. Two misses. No idea where I hit. <laughs> so I guess we'll keep hunting, but there's no blood at all on either one of these. Oh well. The whole reason why I keep coming back to Hawaii is just to be a better bow hunter. You'll encounter about every type of situation you can think of out here, whether you're hunting axis deer, goats, or pigs. Not only does it build character, it builds experience, but there's also a fair share of heartbreak. So when you're hunting axis deer, you're gonna miss. You're gonna miss a lot. I missed. I miss a lot. And that's just part of it. You just gotta pick up the pieces, put arrows back in your quiver, go out and keep trying, 
find those shots and keep shooting. That's all you can do. That's part of bow hunting. But in the end, it's gonna make you a better hunter. I don't see any going this way. So. Oh, dude, he's dead right there. Just the natural beauty alone of Hawaii is enough to keep me coming back year after year. You have everything that a bow hunter could ask for to become a better bow hunter.